Good afternoon, students. Uh, my name is Teacher Vinat, uh, and I'm going to be your new teacher for the rest of the term. And uh, first of all, I just want to welcome everybody to uh, Social Study. And uh, today we're going to be doing uh, Unit 11, pages 96 through 97. Okay, and uh, in that chap in that unit right there, we're going to be learning about the importance of a census. Okay, does anybody know what a census is? If you do, uh, can you drop me a voice text? Okay. So, uh, census, the importance of a census. What is the purpose of a census? Okay, a census is like a little survey that uh, people do to calculate on uh, how many people live in a certain area. For example, uh, your city, town, your country, your state. So a census is like, uh, they do like a tally, like uh, how many adults live in that area, how many kids live in the area, or how many elders that live in the area. And uh, some census, they have uh, different uh, information that they might want to ask you. But uh, these are just some uh, information that I'm going to give you coming off the book. Okay? Now, moving along to population terms. Population terms, there's so many categories, but these are only a few. So uh, for a population term, we got a uh, natural increase. We also have migration, immigrants, emigrants. Again, uh, number three and number four, they sound basically almost the same. One is, number three is immigrants, and number four is emigrants, okay? And then you got number five, internal migration. Okay, so these are uh, a few population terms that is included in the, in the, um, I'm sorry, in the census. Okay, so uh, moving along to number three, uh, population on the move. Okay, so uh, this is going to be talking about how, how population move about, say for like from uh, town to town, city to city, but if we're looking at the, the world, we're talking about like how, how do people move from one country to another country, especially if there's a big body of uh, ocean that's there. So they would like to know how, how would you uh, get into it. But um, what I'm gonna have you do uh, right now before I explain to you uh, all these in video too, uh, I would like you to read uh, pages 96 through 97 and then you stop on uh, uh, af the population after the move, you stop there, okay? And uh, these are some key words that you might want to know before you uh, read the text, so you have an idea of what you're reading. Uh, number one, population. Population is the, is the number, the number of people living in an area. Okay, don't get it confused with community. Community is a group of people living together in an area. So there's a big difference between population and community. Okay, so uh, moving on, uh, like I said, uh, task number one, I want you to read pages 96 through 97. Stop after the population on the move and I will drop you your task after you guys uh, have read your book. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I will see you in the next video. and uh, welcome to the second clip. Uh, from the first clip, I told you guys to read uh, pages 96 to 97. Uh, hopefully you got an understanding of what uh, the population terms are. So uh, if you didn't, we're gonna go over it right now, okay? Uh, natural increase, when we do uh, population terms. Natural increase, it means uh, like uh, the, the birth, the birth over death. So when we're talking about natural increase, we're talking about birth over death. And uh, for number two, migration. Migration uh, is a, a permanent movement from uh, one country to another. So say uh, someone from Cambodia moved to, say, France. That's called migration, okay? And uh, number three, immigrants. Immigrant is the people who have entered the country. So uh, the person that left Cambodia to go to France, the Cambodian is called an immigrant in France, okay? And uh, number four, emigrants. 
Emigrant is the people who left their country to live in another country. So uh, for them to uh, leave the country to go to another country, that's called an emigrant. Okay, and the last one, internal migration. That's just a movement within the, the country that you're in. You're not, I'm, I'm, not, I'm sorry, uh, not country. Uh, the movement within your state or town or city or province, uh, that's uh, internal migration. So you're not moving from uh, one country to another. You're actually moving, for example, from Batabang to Phnom Penh. That's what uh, internal migration mean. Okay? And uh, for our next one, uh, I'm gonna send you an example of a census for uh, the distribution of population for Cambodia. But uh, right now, I just drew you a little example, okay? So uh, when we do census, okay, this is gonna show you uh, the population in Cambodia from uh, 2006 to 2018, I believe. But uh, this is just a rough draft. Like I said, I'll send you the thing uh, on your um, telegram. Okay, so this right here says province. So we're looking at province and we see Kapong Cham. Okay, now Kapong Cham, when we look at both sex, both sex we're talking about male and female. So uh, from male and female, we have uh, 6.7 male and female living in Kampong Cham, okay? Now for males only, there's a uh, 6.6, .6, and uh, for female, there's 6.8. And uh, for Kampong Spu, uh, both sex, we got 5.4. 5.3 and 5.4, so you gotta look at uh, the top right here to tell you what it is, okay? And uh, like I explained in video number one, uh, census, there, there's so many category. Uh, there you have a household census. Household census, it tells you uh, about the family in the household. Say like uh, how many brothers and sisters you have, how many male and female you have in the household. And another census is, like I said, the uh, population. Population is all around the world, or sometimes it's just around the country, okay? Now, uh, moving along to task two, uh, I'm gonna drop you a census for you to fill out, but um, I would like you to write uh, five sentences on why you think an important is, uh, or I'm sorry, why you think a census is important to, to the world, okay? And I'll uh, see you in the next clip. All right? Okay, hello students and uh, welcome to the third clip for today. Uh, so uh, today, what we learned today is about census, right? Again, census, it tells us the population of the community, the town, the country. So uh, I would like to hear what you guys learned today from me so far, okay? So drop me a voicemail or a text, and uh, I would like to know what you've learned. And uh, like I said, population, or I'm sorry, census. I mean, there's so many types of different census. There's a uh, population census, there's household census, and uh, there's so many different categories, okay? Now moving along to your homework. Uh, your homework uh, will be the same as your uh, Task, task for number two, where you did a census. So I'm gonna give you another uh, census for you to fill out, but I only want you to do five, okay? And I will drop that uh, after this video for you to do. And if you have any questions, you can text me and I'll tell you more about it, okay? All right, everybody, thank you for your time. I appreciate you joining my class and I'll see you next Tuesday. Everybody be safe, have a great day, thank you.